we're on our way up the mountain to uh, Solitude. Steep turn. You, it's so steep that you don't want to turn off your cruise control, but then the turns are so intense that you feel like you should. Um, but this is like, the Mount Evans Road was crazy, but it, you knew it was crazy going into it because it was like going towards the top of a mountain. Um, this road is crazy in its own way. It's just, it's probably steeper overall. Um, it doesn't go quite as high, but man, going from where mid Midtown, yeah, Midtown over the mountain to Solitude is just nuts. You're gonna have to hit brakes here. Yeah, this is the hard turn. Oh, uh, but it just goes up and up and up forever, and um, it's 11 miles, but it takes 29 saying 29 minutes so like it, when we started it was 35 minutes to go 13 miles it's pretty crazy and our poor little van does not like it it is just struggling to get over uh, get over this mountain there's no other way though we tried going a different way home yesterday and it's just as bad so wish us luck <laughs> but today is day one of the solitude open um, tournament getting ready to go up the chairlift and I don't know if I need more sweatshirts or not but we'll see hopefully the Sun comes out and keeps us warm What's the elevation difference? Do we know? I don't know. It's yeah. probably about 700, 700. I guess. It's down there. yesterday <clears throat> was pretty tired after my round um, ended up making lead card for MA2 and uh, so I'm just out here getting ready for round two got my warm-ups in and uh, now just taking just chilling a little bit I tee off in about 20 minutes I'm currently sitting in uh, second place Uh, today was day two of the Solitude Open uh, up at Solitude Resort in Utah. And uh, I didn't really, I meant to record a recap yesterday, um, but ended up not doing it because it was my first time ever playing that course and I was so exhausted. 
it's it's a real mountain course and I've never really played anything like that before so it was it was a little crazy um, I actually played really good after the first round I ended up uh, being tied for second place and then uh, today I went out with a little bit more confidence knowing kind of knowing the course um, the one time I played through uh, knowing what adjustments I should make and that kind of stuff and ended up shooting the hot round um, of either day really for intermediate so I shot seven under today so four under the first day seven under the next day I have a four stroke lead going into the final round tomorrow and uh, that feels pretty good being able to play a type of disc golf that I've never played before and play it decently well and uh, yeah have a run at the the lead so I'll be on the lead card tomorrow um, this is our last night at the campground we've been staying right over there Kelsey is taking care of Sutter trying to clean her off the best that she can um, but yeah we'll be headed out here and I don't know how far west we are gonna head tomorrow after my round um, we'll probably get dinner and drive till it's cool enough to sleep and uh, out in um, western Utah and Nevada there's a lot of uh, Bureau of Land Management land that you can just stay the night at and so we might end up doing that and then hopefully the following day we'll make it into um, California Sacramento area and uh, connect with family and we're gonna spend um, almost two weeks in California um, with family and uh, yeah it'll be good um, Kelsey's sister and Dan uh, Daniel and Courtney are coming down um, from Oregon so we'll spend some time with them and uh, yeah should be should be nice to be home for a bit but uh, next video hopefully will just be an update of how uh, things shook out uh, for the rest of the tournament